a DIYers. So this video is intended to serve as a alternative to the expensive uh, rubber crack filling machines. So most of those range from 1100 to 1600 and I didn't want to spend that much. So I went to Home Depot, bought a 30 quart uh, turkey fryer, but bought a uh, used pan at uh, the Goodwill store. Uh, bought a 20 pound tank and then put it on this mobile cart. Heated up to about 300, 350. I uh, used a little IR temp gun. Bought some welding gloves just to uh, keep my hands safe. Wearing boots and uh, jeans, which I got all the rubber all over me. Uh, I bought 30 pound blocks from uh, Home Depot of this product. It's a uh, Craftco Flex Fillet rubber crack filler. Bought a uh, V shaped squeegee, which you can invert. Uh, either to drag or to push and then a pan to scoop from so that was like three bucks and then just a piece of rebar to stir uh, just kept it nice and hot without uh, letting it flash over and then uh, just would scoop and then I had a helper uh, assist with squeegeeing does it look as clean as if we had the machine no uh, but does it, does it do the trick yes so some of the uh, tips would be not to pour too much because before somebody can get to it uh, it'll start to harden so there's still some sections where they're not filled the best and then there's sections where it's filled a little too much but uh, all said and done with the squeegee i bought two blocks but i only used one and my driveway is about a hundred and some foot long with uh, one two three four five major cracks uh, that i filled i think i spent about 210 bucks in comparison to about a 1100 bucks for the new machine uh, like i said got everything at home depot and then the pot and the small little pay and a scoop from from uh, Goodwill and I bought the squeegee on Amazon so this would be a nice alternative if you just want to fill some of your major cracks in your driveway uh, without having to spend a fortune on it 